I am here about to head to my friend Daniel's work. You guys know Daniel has been working out with me for, I want to say close to six months. He bought a membership in my very first warehouse gym uh, almost two years ago. And he's just been a friend that has really stuck around and shown his true colors. And so I'm getting him a little gift right here. I know, let me show you guys real quick. Let me stop driving. Getting him a little gift, which looks like a Nike box, right? But inside is actually a key. Focus. An M&M key to the warehouse. So um, he's really a friend I can trust, and I figured I could do that for him. He typically works out a little bit later um, than like I do and Derek does. So he, he only gets like 30 minutes later. So sometimes uh, he works out a little bit later, and it'd be nice for him to be able to lock up. And you know, if I'm out of town or something, for him to be able to use the warehouse. So um, that's what I'm giving him. And thoughtful gifts are always better than gifts that you can buy, in my opinion. So. Um, Nikki chose that M&M key. I didn't choose. I was giving him a plain silver one. But anyway, we're headed to there right now. I got the directions on my phone. It actually works pretty quick, five minutes away. And then I'll check in with you guys a little later. A ton of meals from Icon Meals. Uh, they sent me. They, they do like pre watch I'll show you a few. They do like pre-packaged meals, but they've hooked us up. Um, buffalo chicken quesadilla, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The macros are 38 protein, 33 carbs, 17 fat. A few more, a few more examples. Eggs and French toast, barbecued chicken. I kind of want the barbecued chicken. Uh, but yeah, they sent us a bunch of everything just to sort of try out and really think. That is what I'm going to eat right now. Thank you to Icon Meals. Uh, you're going to try these out and hopefully be working with them in the future. I feel like because I'm eating this meal, a lot of people are going to say, aren't you bulking while you're eating low calorie meals? But the thing about that, guys, is as long as you're in a surplus throughout your whole day. So it's okay to have a meal or two like on the go, small little snacks, and then still be in a surplus of calories at the end of the day. And so you don't have to like eat huge massive meals every single meal personally I like to have about one to two big meals a day um, I wouldn't even consider this like a meal it's more like a snack so that's my approach to it it all comes down to your overall daily macro intake your calorie intake really um, if you're over maintenance for a long period of time you're gonna gain uh, if you're under your maintenance calories which are different for everybody then you will lose confession since Toronto so not even Montreal, but since Toronto, uh, in Canada with you tomorrow, I didn't feel really sick. That frame totally wasn't my face. I'm using a 35 millimeter lens, so this is, uh, that's why it's sort of close right here. But it's a really good lens for taking pictures, and that's sort of, it's nice to change it up versus other ones. But, uh, you guys hear that talking? So distracted. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, feeling sick. I don't get sick often, but when I do, it lasts forever because I don't take care of myself, but that's besides the point. Um, I'm taking a scoop of Achieve, which is my current favorite pre-workout, the Fruit Punch flavor. Uh, this is available. The link is in my description box at moresupplements.com, so check that out if you're interested. Very, very solid pre-workout. And I do take, I take one full scoop, one level scoop, and that's all I need. P.S. My friend... Omar El Hafi, you guys may have seen him on YouTube, he does have a channel. Omar El Hafi hooked me up, he went to Egypt for, I want to say like a month or two, and maybe even longer, and he sent me this because he thought it looked like, like an athlete sort of, from Egypt. So, thank you Omar. Alright, what's going on YouTube family, back with a commentary, and today was a leg workout. Now this is my second leg workout coming back from Toronto, and today called for 280 pounds for sets of 10. Now. My last few sessions have been a bit difficult. Not really my leg workouts, just my squat um, in particular because I feel very, very off-center. Uh, you guys know I've always had the hip problem where my right foot's in front of my left foot, but I don't want to say this was a cause, but when I did go to Toronto, if you guys didn't watch, I got a session in with Vinny from Myo Detox. So they really went in and not just deep tissue massage, but went in extremely hard and almost restructured everything like I felt so much better after the session with Vinny and 
which is awesome. But a side effect of that is I think that my body, I'm, I'm just not used to not being so tight pretty much. I'm used to being tight and I'm used to squatting my certain way while being tight. And so now that I'm a little bit looser uh, and it just feels totally different. So I'm getting used to it. Uh, this clip was sped up a little bit, but we did set to 10 with 280. And it was a big mental thing for me, uh, especially working in the higher rep range with squat. It's easier to sort of misplace your feet and get thrown off mid set and have to readjust. But if you're doing like sets of two or three, it's not as hard to just stick with the foot position, in my opinion. So uh, sets of 10 there. And then we moved on to a lying leg press right here. Uh, really good movement right here. Now, instead of, I'll either do like a lying leg press or a actual leg press. And today I chose this for five total sets. Um, and things are going good guys. Leg training is going well. I do have some news. I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys right now. As you guys know, uh, or may not know, a new division opened up, which is called classic physique. So in the past, I've always competed in men's physique, which is, you know, you wear board shorts down to the knee and you do your side, your front pose, your back pose, and the side pose. And it's literally like 10, 15 seconds on stage and then you're done. Now, they just opened up a new division called Classic Physique, which is essentially just you have small board short or smaller shorts, uh, short shorts, and you actually do bodybuilding poses. So you get to do like a one optional pose. So I would want to do like a side tricep. Uh, you do a back double by, you do the quad with the ab shot. Um, you do a side chest pose and it's a totally different division. So I want to go ahead and explain and you know myself, I need to look more into it, but it's something I'm interested in. So I'm, it almost gives more uh, reason I could say to train legs. And I'm super excited because now knowing if I do compete next year, which I am planning on it, just not sure which divisions, um, you know, I'm going to be judged on my leg size as opposed to just being judged on my upper body, which is more motivation, more fuel to continue pushing and continue focusing and priori prioritizing my legs. So finish off with some calves, some seated, some standing, and then uh, then finalize or finish off with some straight legged deadlifts with the dumbbells. So that's going to conclude this commentary. There is a lot of footage coming soon throughout this video, a lot of vlog footage, a lot of raw workout footage. And so I want you guys to sit back relax and enjoy the rest of this video. Love you all. For breakfast, I'm having an icon meal. This is actually, let me see, why is it right? Let me see. Um, these are the protein pancakes, macros on these. It's like confetti protein pancakes, macros, 23 protein, 32 carb, four grams of fat, and it comes with a syrup, which I'm pouring on. Oh, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna eat. They're filming Javante like an epic, like, Instagram video, like, joking you. Get me to throw you as far as I can to the lake. Down. So guys, uh, for the past few days, I know I keep complaining in videos, but I've been feeling like crap, looking like crap. And uh, I'm gonna take some emergency, which is just a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, help the immune system, tangerine flavor. So I'm gonna mix this up with some water. And then we're gonna continue going throughout the day. I mean, he's rocking the a sample pair of the blue athlete pants. They are very cozy. I'm showing the green. Wait, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, a little green tint underneath. I love these. Danae is stuck.
Jason. Come on. Fucking swolger, man. My dad, what's the show you watch? Yeah? Uh, Bering Sea and, and Gold Rush. Gold Rush. <laughs> hey, there's a cat over there. Hey, my car's right here, but I'll see you then. All right, we'll see you. See you, nigga. Thank you so much. Right. Good time. Right. Thank you, man. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, man. Man, I ate fried and I ate a whole cake. <laughs> How's dinner, Nikki? Hey, I'll meet you next time. All right. It was McDonald's. delicious. McDonald's. <laughs> Dinner was, uh, yeah, drive, I'll drive. Dinner was good. Things are good. And, uh, just enjoying it. Oh, great. What are we gonna go home and do? Oh, Netflix. Um, there's a show that came out yesterday, like, premiered first episode, season one, called Limitless, which is essentially the movie Limitless with Bradley Cooper, but in a TV show series. And so, Definitely gonna watch that on Amazon. Does he take like a pill? It's like a, it's like a pill. It's like makes him invincible. Or... Not invincible, like makes you optimal. Instead of a monster, I'm actually sipping on some of this. Right, this is actually Amino Energy by Optimum Nutrition. Uh, two scoops of the blue ras flavor, which is I want I want to say. Don't quote me for sure around 160 to 180 milligrams of caffeine. So about the equivalent of a monster just picked me up. It's 9.30 in the morning. That's what's up. Got that black Zara shirt. My black and gold uh, Michael Kors jeans, spiker jeans, and loafers. All right, family, so earlier today, DHL came by and delivered 18 pallets. I'm about to show you all. But the October 4th launch is actually coming in six waves. So six waves DHL is bringing things. They've already brought uh, three. And so we have three more waves coming. This is a little bit of, this is how it looks right now at the warehouse. So we've got some products, some inventory. And then today they dropped off 18 pallets. So this is a pallet. It comes with, I believe, 14 boxes. And tomorrow they're bringing about the same quantity again, 18 pallets. And then we have next week a big batch coming in. And then we actually have about 20% of our inventory coming after launch, um, like two or three days after launch to sort of re-put more product on the website. Pretty much we're gonna double all the shelving you see here, the gym's right here. We're gonna be doubling the shelving and sort of doing a mirror. And so, most of this concrete should be filled up by next week with inventory, so super exciting. I'm glad to see the warehouse getting filled up. Yeah, you're right. Okay, we got a box check, another box check. <laughs> well, hey, I got blue. Yeah, that's a heavy one. I got blue. <laughs> well, it's like delivery, man. Yeah, I'm gonna open a delivery company, man. <laughs> what are those?
It's about time. Happy birthday to you. Well, I went back to the wall and crashed in the room. Oh, it's okay. No, not recording. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry. <laughs> Thank How old are you, Derek? 26. 26. I'll hold this for you if you want to time. Went to Lululemon got him some, got him some stuff. I figured, because I'm medium in these, so I figured he'd be a large. Large. Uh, I guess it's Extra large now, please. Extra large now. <laughs> Alright, then I got you this color. This is a new color. Okay. Uh, Alright. Got some clothes to wear for the trip. Yeah, we're going on a, on a trip this weekend. I don't know where. They just said bring a bag. We're taking you on a trip for your birthday. Christian doesn't know either. <laughs> I don't know either. He doesn't know where we're going either. I got a pair of shorts. Mm. Oh, those are nice. I like that color. Yeah. Cool. There you go, bro. Oh, happy birthday, Derek. <laughs> yeah. Donuts for breakfast. Donuts, we have cookies. Are we still recording? Yeah. Did you, you also? Oh, yeah. The sabotage oh, I didn't show This morning, I brought, uh, Tim brought donuts. <laughs> right. And then I didn't know Tim brought donuts, so I went and got cookies. So I got 12 cookies, a mixture of chocolate chip, and they were so fresh. Like, I saw them come out of the <laughs> oven. So you have these, and I also got brownies. And then Ashley got me a cupcake. <laughs> oh, well. And she, she, since she knows about the trip, she got me a travel bag with M and M's and candy and chips. <laughs> One piece. So, so, uh, I'm gonna like die. Of sweetness. Right <laughs> so what did you guys pick up? Where's the truck? We have what to lift today. Right, cool. <laughs> yes, gotta, much lifting involved. We, show it, we, we have to go off. burn off these calories. <laughs> so. Birthday, man. Appreciate it. Okay, come out here. Show you what's going on. Come over here. We sent Tim and Derek to get more shelves. So these are the big shelves that we're using. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new shelves. Only eight? Yeah. Oh yeah, eight. eight. That's eight. right. And then come in here. So we're gonna build these up real quick. Second shipment, uh, or the the next wave of stuff came in this morning from DHL. So a bunch of stuff. We got eight more pallets. Yesterday we had 18 pallets. Last week we had like seven pallets, and then we have another batch coming next week and one the following week as well. So uh, it's gonna be a busy week next week. And that's going to conclude this video, so I want to thank you guys for watching. The Outfit Athletics launched on the October 4th. It's going to be massive. I'm actually rocking the track pants right here. And I'll check in with you guys in the next video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me.